the youth offending team that deals with youngsters are getting into trouble, the connection service, which is aimed at trying to get young people into in gaining employment, and perhaps most stunningly of all, or most savagely of all, uh, uh, a plan to possibly cut all 23 community day nurses in Birmingham. They are looking to save from the budget of £8.7 million, £2.5 million. They like produce a report that says this presents an opportunity, and the opportunity they think it presents, a, presents, a, presents for them is to close all the nurseries and instead fund private nurseries and, and arrange contracts with private supplies to provide those services. I'm not going to deal with his warning about uh, uh, falling ill, because I think one of the speakers that comes after me is probably going to deal a lot better with the threat facing to our service. But I want to finish off with his warning about not to be old, because again, Boom City Council has accelerated this year its plans to close all 29 of its elderly persons' homes. Uh, a planning announced some time ago, uh, but when the union started to resist and, and residents and the public started to come up in arms, they give us a guarantee that none of these homes will actually close without alternative and better provision being in place and the building of extra care, shelter, housing schemes. They may remain on that commitment, but they're pursuing or continue to pursue the closure of 29 homes and more homes are closing uh, this year. Right. Uh, now, often when politicians talk about cuts, they talk about, oh, well, well we're going we're to make efficiency savings. What I've tried to do is to show but actually, when cuts come along, they're not by efficiency savings, they're not by a few bureaucrats, they're not cut back, cutting back on the number of paper clips or pens that you provide, although in the office where I work, you can never find a pen, that's probably enough members of the public. Right? It's not about that, it's right, real cuts in frontline services. Uh, I'll give you another example where I work in a neighbouring office. We, we have a brand new computer appointment system for the public. It's supposed to be much easier to get an appointment. You can ring from home now and get, don't have to queue at home, just get an appointment. We now have the bizarre situation of people of pretty low incomes crisscrossing the city, right, from Northfield to Erlington to be interviewed, from Erlington to Acox Green to be interviewed. This is a so-called more efficient service. I don't know how more efficient it is to have a, uh, a member of public who can help forward it his health might be failing, having to travel halfway across the city. We have regularly at our reception desk, we have people complaining it's taken them a month, six weeks to get appointments, and they're getting into debt because they can't claim housing benefit. So these are not efficiencies, these are cuts in services that really affect people. So that brings me on to that. Well, what do we do to defend our public services? And this is where uh, Unison and other people have set up this campaign called Save Our Services. What it's about trying to do is to build an alliance between those people that provide the services, the council workers and their trade union representatives, those people that use the services, and the wider public that at some time in the future might rely on those services. And we've already had some experience around campaigning around specific service cuts. We launched a very good campaign around the closure of Edward Downsbit phone. They had local demonstrations and protests. Unfortunately, that wasn't successful. Already there's a bit a campaign beginning to take off among several of the community day nurseries of that public meetings about press releases have uh, got their local councillors involved in the login. And uh, this is very, very important because this election that's coming up, the general election, is also an election for every council. In every council in the city, there'll be a council standing. We want to try and turn this election into a referendum on whether people or the public of Birmingham support cuts or don't support cuts. And it's actually important for another reason. I'm a trade union activist, so I actually think but where workers are gathered together collectively, that's where they have power, that's where they have strength. But I have to admit that working for the council now, confidence is an eye amongst the workforce. People aren't, you know, queuing up to take action to defend their jobs. Uh, and part of the role of convincing people that it's a fight we can have and it's a fight we can win is that there is public support for the services that we provide, that people do rely on those services and they're needed. Uh, uh, we need to have the confidence when we're arguing with the public or with our own members that cuts are not inevitable. In Birmingham, so they're going to cut £69 million from the budget this year. In fact, they're actually spending £30 million extra next year, this year, than they did last year. So why are they cutting, making £69 million, sorry, £69 million worth of cuts? It's because about the political choices they make about where they're going to spend the money. So they're spending more than the £69 million on a private venture with capita called the Business Transport business transformation venture. So 
Cuts are often about the political uh, choices that you make. And I think this is those political choices face any government, whether they're Labour, Tory, Lib them. Those political choices are always there. There's a political choice whether they're going to cut public spending or spend £97 billion on replacing Trident. It's a political choice about whether they're going to continue an unpopular war in Afghanistan, right? A, a war that's so far cost £12 million, billion pounds, right? And, to give you an idea of that, how the scale of that war is has escalated, the first year of that war, back in 2002, they spent £221 million. This year, they will be spending £4 billion, 20 times the amount that they spent on that war just, just this year alone. And finally, of course, is the golden bailout to the bankers, £850 billion. Right? So it's politics is about the choices that you make, right? And the choices that politicians are making at the moment for the citizens of Birmingham, I would argue, uh, are the wrong ones. I want to finish with another, another quote from the 80s, uh, uh, from, uh, not from a politician, but from uh, one of my favourite politicians, a bloke called Paul Weller. He says, uh, uh, we, don't have to, we don't have to take this crap. We don't have to sit back and relax. We can actually try changing it. And that's what Save Our Services is about. We want to change the political agenda in Birmingham from one that's about cuts to one that's about providing services that meet people's needs.